the trouble with being honest. Hey, I'm David Essel. Let me tell you something. Honesty is the best policy. There's no doubt about it, but there's a lot of problems that come with being honest many, many times. <laughs> We're here to help you with these YouTube little snippets to give you an idea of why it is that we struggle with being honest and being in shape and letting go of addictions and all that kind of stuff. But look at this. When you're honest with someone, you face the potential of judgment, criticism, rejection, abandonment. It happens all the time. Like we know codependency is we don't want to rock the boat. That's one side of it anyway. So a codependent has a really hard time being honest with someone about how they really feel or what they really want or what they really don't want in many relationships, especially intimate relationships. It can be so hard. You know, your partner says they want to do something with you intimately, sexually, and you're not quite sure or you've done it before and didn't like it or whatever it might be. So what do you do? Well, if you're honest, they may reject you, right, reject you, they may criticize you, they may abandon you, they may reject you, leave you, they may do all kinds of stuff, right? They may get very upset with you. So it's tough being honest. If you're honest with someone at work, oh my God, it can be so difficult being honest with someone at work. If you're honest with a mom or a dad or a sister or a brother or a best friend, it can really come down. It's not that easy. Honesty is the best policy? Yes. Why? Because after the uproar, if there is going to be any kind of a pushback, you're going to feel good about yourself. You'll be able to sleep at night, maybe a night or two later if you have a lot of problems with being honest, but you're going to be at peace. In the world of dating, if you're dating more than one person at a time, it's always really good to say, hey, listen, I just want to tell you I'm not going to be in a committed relationship with you. Uh, I'm not going to be in a committed relationship until we've known each other for X amount of months, maybe six months or a year or 10 years, whatever it is. I'm, I'm not going to judge what you want to do, but it's really important. What do most people do? Most people tell people what they want to hear. And then they do things behind the back. And then that creates all kinds of hell down the road. So here's the short message today. Be honest. Take the spanking up front if someone's not going to like your honesty. Always be honest with love. And the way you say it is so important. But don't be afraid to be honest. What's the end result of being honest? You are emotionally free. Hey, don't forget right here to sign up for our YouTube channel so you get all of this stuff for free. We have got a ton of things at the website for free. Our free book, The Power of Focus, at talkdavid.com. The free six video series, The Four Blocks to Financial Freedom, that's free at talkdavid.com. People always ask me, where do you get your energy from? We've got a little bit of information on my website about how to get more energy. And of course, if you want to work with me one-on-one -on -one as your master coach, I've been doing this for 25 years, I'd love to help you. And all of our work is 100% money back guaranteed. If you need help financially with your health, with relationships, with your spiritual path, with your attitude, self-esteem, confidence, we do it all. Have an awesome day.